Hit Film Sensei here. Today, in a special Monday edition of my video, I am going to talk about Mike Miller's Hit Film University video, Essential Hit Film 014 Advanced Camera Rigging. Specifically, I want to do a complimentary or supplementary video on his virtual jibs and cranes. So if you have not seen that video, you probably want to go take a look at that first. How to achieve cinematic camera moves in HitFilm Express and Pro. And specifically, the virtual jibs and cranes, which starts at 15 minutes and 40 seconds into the video and goes basically until the end. Uh, and I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, in that video, he talks about how to set up a virtual jib and crane. He uses the lightning effect to actually demonstrate the rig itself, uh, although obviously you wouldn't need that when you actually are using the rig. Um, and then uh, he talks about creating the jib uh, Y pan point and the jib X tilt point, and then they're all connected together so that the camera itself moves when you animate those points right but then the camera itself is tilting and panning and you know and, and, and it shouldn't be doing that so what he does is he then takes the points that are in there and he creates a counterbalance point that he then uh, copies all of the animation uh, points and then reverses the signs on them uh, and and therefore keeps the camera oriented in the correct direction and I thought, gosh, you know, I wonder if there's a better way to do that. So I thought about it over the weekend and I thought, you know, I think I do have a better way uh, or at least a different way that's maybe more simple, right? So hopping into HitFilm Pro. Now, I'm only in HitFilm Pro because I wanted to add a camera um, model, basically, that I real quickly whipped out in Blender uh, and... This can be done actually in HitFilm Express, but basically if, you'll, if you've seen his video, you'll know that this is the exact same rig setup. Uh, I have a base point here that uh, if I move it around, then the whole rig moves around. Uh, and then I have a jib Y pan point and a jib X tilt point connected to the arm which the camera is sitting on. Okay, so the camera itself uh, is a the jib camera which is right here. And it's being represented by this model. And the model is actually attached to the camera itself. So therefore, uh, when you um, uh, move the camera, then this model will move. And that's what makes it look. So if I have the X tilt point here and I were to bring this up and actually do an X tilt, you will see, look at that. The camera actually procedurally is orienting in the correct direction right if i have a the y pan uh then i move that on the y axis same thing you see look at that now if i go to a perspective view of this uh, then what you'll see is there's my observation camera over there and here's my camera i'm just going to go ahead and move get rid of the the camera object uh, as well as the the lightning uh, jib rig because you can't see it anyway and again if I move this you can see how the camera is pointing correctly if I move the X tilt you can see again that it's moving correctly right if I were to take my uh, jib camera and move it above my observation camera and go back to that then you can see that as I move my points and you can see my jib arm is big enough that it goes underneath the floor uh, you can see how that looks like a real jib move, right? Or a uh, real crane move kind of a thing, see? So how is that How is that doable? Let me go back to perspective mode. And, and by the way, I have an orientation point here that if I move that around, right, then guess what? It will turn the direction of the camera, you see? It will change the orientation of that and even if i go ahead and move this it still is working correctly right so how does that actually happen well if i swing my perspective around here what you will find is is that way out there is a point right and that's this point right here and this is an orientation point that then if you go to the jib camera itself 
and you pull up the layer of properties, you can see that I have align that camera towards that point, okay? And that point happens to be parented to the one that's here. So then whenever I uh, move that point, it moves that and the camera moves too. And you say, well, but if it comes offline a little bit, X or Y coordinates, then it, there's gonna be sort of a little bit of a parallax because the camera's gonna angle towards that point, right? Yeah, that's true. But if you actually take a look at this camera orientation point, you see where I put it, I put it about 15 million pixels away, right? Which means essentially that if uh, uh, this camera was, uh, j this jib camera setup was in San Francisco, that point would be in New York City, you see. Uh, it's, it's a long ways away. If this is a six foot camera jib, uh, there's not going to be much of a problem because that's only 600 pixels different, right? So as a result, and I could have put that even further. I could put that on the moon if I wanted to. Um, you know, you, it's not necessary to actually see the point, just have the camera point towards it. So that was sort of my way of dealing with the idea that I would have to copy a whole other set of points into a counterbalance point and then re-align uh, all of the uh, numbers, uh, you know, to the negatives or positives to keep it so... Hopefully, that'll make your life a little bit easier. What do you say about this? Leave a comment in the section below. And otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.